everyone. So I just hate it when there's kids walking past on the ice guys. They're like flying up and down like woohoo look at me sliding along. I ain't scared of no ice. Then there's me walking like a little old lady trying to keep my balance. <laughs> I ain't even joking look at it guys with them. It's that dangerous stuff that breaks your neck. So we are off to get some shopping for our mukbang today. We've got a good mukbang coming up. And you're this amazing recipe guys. Hopefully we'll get to a cook along and show you what's in or how we make it. Or how she makes it because I'm just doing this pretty much for that. She bought me a breakfast sandwich this morning guys. From the cafe. Or cafe if you want to be posh about it. I was that hungover from our crisp pre New Year's Eve party last night. But I couldn't face it, I was like, I'm just save it or you have it. But I could die here, guys, this is very icy. I'll see you in a minute. Hey, up, Munchies, how are we all diddling? So, what we're doing today is. Actually, you know, he's actually the chickens that talk to you. He's like, what we're going to do today is. Well, I don't want to go in a bloody oven, mate. Well, I don't want to go in a fucking oven either, love. Well, why has it got to get cooked, don't we? No, guys, how would you? What we're doing today is what I like to call, and what most people call, so it's not just me. Batch cooking. I said cooking, not something else. So, we're going to use one and a half chickens for a chicken Rogan Josh curry, which is going to be for New Year's Eve. The other half of a chicken is going to be used for chicken sandwiches. One of these minces is going to be used for a chilli, which we're then going to freeze. And this uh, mince here is going to be used for today's dinner. What bang? Which will be. Shepherd's pie balls with cheese on top. They look amazing. Wait till you see how good they come out looking, guys. We've not tried them before, just in the recipe the other day. So we're going to take you along on the journey as we plod on through this day of cooking and cooking in a bit. Okay, guys, so we've cut up our mince quite fine. This is 5% beef mince. I don't use anything above 5% I can help it. And we're using fry lights, which only one calorie per spray. Try and keep it healthy as and when we're not doing mukbangs. Cover your mints in the fry light, baby. I don't like oil on um, stuff like mints. So it's, it's no need. Fry light is perfectly fine, mm. guys. I'm going to brown this off now. Okay, guys, once you've browned off your mints, which we have here, it'll carry on cooking through anyway, on a low heat in a moment. So, so you brown that off, break it up a little bit. It will clump together as you cook it, and if you have cut it up fine, you want to get yourself two tins of baked beans. We do have tin out on us, guys. I can't be arsed with too much effort. I'll just use a big pointy knife. Two tins of beans in there. Oh, yeah, baby. Get your beans on. Get your beans on. Baked beans is what we're using here, guys. What the hell's going on? Well, I've got a finger in the way camera. There we go. Sorry about that. And then a tin of chopped tomatoes or passata. We ain't got no passata. I've just found that out. Pop that in. And you need some spicy. Spicy, spicy. Okay, guys, so you can literally add whatever you want to this. We're putting in some garlic granules. It's hard to see when you're looking through the camera how much you're putting in, so I had to sort of look around the camera a bit. There we go. It's a bit more soddy. It's a bit pap. We're going to pop in some hot paprika. You can use normal paprika. You don't have to use paprika if you don't want to. Again, as hot as you like or as cool as you like. And I've just remembered, literally, as I was putting the smarts in, we don't normally put smarts in, but it don't hurt. I think we'd normally just do it with baked beans, maybe some passata. Oh well. And then we're going to put some Cajun seasoning in. Remember, guys, this won't be for a mukbang. But though we have to add chilies on our mukbangs before, this video, this food here will be whacked in the freezer and used next week as we go into the new year where nobody can really be asked to get into like, healthy eating. Me and I want to start eating healthy when we're not doing the mukbangs. Like four healthy video, four healthy meals a week if we can, five if we're lucky. Then we're gonna put some barbecue sauce in, guys, just to give that barbecue kick. You know, it's chilly, you shouldn't really have a barbecue kick, but I like it. So we're gonna love that up there. And then a little bit of red Frank's red hot wings. I oh, now I do need to watch what I'm doing here. This stuff is quite warm. There we go, that should be enough. You know, stir all that together, guys. 
then put on a low heat to cook through, baby. We'll come back to that in a bit. Look at that, lovely jubbly. Now, so we took off the heat in just a minute or two and left to cool. Once it's cooled, we'll put it in some uh, takeaway containers, whack it in the freezer, once it's completely cool, that is, and this will be eaten next week with rice or jacket potatoes. Yum, yum. Now let's get started on these chick 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 chickens. They look like for me. So here's the deal. Both these chockings, yes, both these chockings were one pound fifty each, guys. The mince was twenty pence each. So that's one. That's for today. Shepherd's Shepherd's pie balls. That pack of mint. I've got to clean the oven yet, guys. I've just got a bit of chili on there. This one costs us twenty p plus the beans, about twenty p each. Chopped tomatoes, season. It costs about a pound, this chilli did. Throw in some rice or chocolate potatoes, you're getting a meal there for about two, three quid for four people. These cost one fifty each. Chili, uh, curry the one. Chicken sandwiches, well one and a half for curry, half for chicken sandwiches, that's another two meals. For about three quid for the chicken. Throw in an extra, you know, the, the rice to the curry, some the curry sauce. Probably two meals here, guys, cost us about seven quid for five people that'll be five people seven quid was that just over a pound each now like i said this one here will be for the shepherd's pie i think that's 20p plus the seasoning for the shepherd's pie i don't know sorry guys just look at chicken here they get to look at my pretty bonds yeah guys so i was saying the uh the shepherd's pie one is like 150 for two mixes of shepherd's pie plus the mince it's 170 bag of potatoes lost a couple of days or a couple of meals yeah. Three pound seventy for four people to have shepherd's pie balls. Oh, and the cheese. The cheese is the most expensive part. Oh, right there. Let me show you the cheese. And I bought a Savoy cabbage. I forgot about that. Cheese. Uh, Emmental. 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 That's all. This was like two pound nine from Lidl. Scandinavian for Lidl. So that's the most expensive thing we bought for this dinner, guy. So the chickens are about to go in on this one, we've just added some garlic granules and hot paprika. On this one, a little bit of paprika, a tiny bit of garlic, but not as much because this will be used for sandwiches. This one, mainly for the curry on the left. Let's get diddling. We're now to the second pack of mince munchies. This one is obviously going to be for the shepherd's pie balls. I mean, if they turn out the way we've seen on the video, guys, uh, of this other person making, they look amazing. Look at that, fancy cutting skills. Whoa, whoa, I'm glad my fingers out there actually. Um, over here, we've chopped up some Savoy cabbage. Nice and green, oh yeah. Chili's done, that's just cooling down now. Taste it, tastes amazing. So said, you do know we've got passata in the cupboard, don't you? So like, tear your smile, I should have told that before. And we've just got some co-op shepherd's pie mix, guys. We've got two of them here. What needs to go in? Aim hates me when I cook, she says, I never clean up. I'm trying my best to keep this tidy. Uh, shepherd's pie mix, vegetable oil, mince, one medium onion diced, two carrots, some water, some mashed potatoes. We're on it guys, let's get rocking and roll. Okay everybody, there we go. The mince is just about browned off, we've added some onion. We didn't have any real carrots, so I had to use pretend ones. Now, without the tin, I've sliced them up a little bit. Works the same way, sod it. If it doesn't, we'll soon find it. The chickens are cooking away in the oven. We've got our shepherd's pie mix here. What that in there. It might need a bit more juice, I think. I think I'll add a bit more water to that, guys, right there. You keep looking in my pan and I'll get the water. So you what, I could give Gordon Ramsay a run for his money, I reckon. Might see him that one. I might, I might even stick the, the second mix in. That's a better idea, don't worry. Sorry guys, got my speaker on here. Okay, smoky guys. So we have dished up our uh, uh, chili into these. I don't know the hell came in these originally. I think these had small turkey joints in them before that we did for leading to Christmas. I think so. So we kept these, washed them, keep all this sort of stuff. Dished that up, it's cooled down. Maybe a little bit more needs to cool down. Then I'm going to wrap it in this evil stuff. I hate clean film. We peeled our potatoes. We've swapped over the shepherd's pie. That's cooked through now, guys. See it in a better light. Oh, it's just been sat for a few minutes. Wait there. Let me sort this. 
There we go, guys. It's just because I'd have it sat there for about 20 minutes. That's now cooked through and ready to. Oh, yeah, it smells amazing. Yeah, if I do say so myself. So we'll pop that on there. There's a lot of cabbage to go on. Wow, the lighting's so bad in here. The heck him at Decky, weren't they? There we go. So all the cabbage is done. That's done. They're done. These are done. Well, he's on a roll, man. Smashing it. I forgot about these bad boys, guys. Goodness. Oh, yeah. It's crisping up nicely here on that one. This one as well. Let's whack them back in the oven, guys, for a bit longer. All done just now, guys, is base these in the chicken juice, which is in the bottom of the tray. As you can see over here, as I will demonstrate now. Yeah, no, you do not want a dry chicken right before a curry or for chicken sandwiches. So these have been lathered up in the juice. We're going to put these back in the oven and we're going to rock and roll. Okay, I've clean filmed up the uh, chilies, guys. going to pop these in the freezer flat later on and crack on with the rest of the dinner. Savoy cabbage is on, potatoes are about to go on. This is cooked through, it's just uh, the steam coming off it now. It's all done. I need the toilet. You lot probably want to break me babbling. I'll show you some finished food in a bit. Okay, munchies. So, shit just got complicated. Apparently, it's good job I went and spout to her because she's in the middle of doing like an obituary for her auntie passed away to help her dad out. But by all accounts, we need to fry our shepherd's pie balls once they're ready. I've not even put the mint on yet, the cabbage is just boiling away. Chef's pie's done. Potatoes about to go on. But yeah, apparently we've got to fry them off, which I didn't know. So, complications arise. By the way, guys, you actually see the end finished article of these um, bowls. Maybe I'll show them. Or you might have to wait till the mukbang. Let's wait and see. Ooh, hello, it's me, Lee. How are we all diddling? So about the crap lighting, guys, I need some more, I need to get a new light bulb. So today, in today's cook along, we're making shepherd's pie balls. Yes, not the shepherd's balls, some shepherd's pie balls. And they're going to look amazing. So, let's show you what we've got on the go. These are done, guys. I actually forgot to take them out the oven. I need to just remind them about them. Yeah, I probably ain't got uh, anything on Gordon Ramsay on it, to be fair. But nice, though. Oh, yeah. Ooh, fancy them right now. There we go, guys. So the potatoes are currently bubbling away. We can just separate them a little bit. There we go. Whoa, look at the steam, man. The steam. Let's turn them over a bit so that they all cook through evenly and roughly at the same time. I'm happy as Larry right now, guys. I'm happy as a pig in shit. I just found out my electronic chest set will be here in the next hour or two, which I did not know. So happy fucking days. They are like next to impossible to get hold of these days. Because everyone's gone mad on chess because of COVID. Okay, smoky peeps, we've got our mash mashed up, baby. Next, we need to transfer some mash to this bowl right here, which has cling film in it. I'll show you how well that looks in just a second. So here we go guys, here's our mashed potato and bowl. Yeah, they make like a little well sort of thing. Then you want to get a scoop of your shepherd's pie, which I had helped if I had a ladle. Where the hell's that gone? There it is. Get a scoop of your shepherd's pie and plonk it on in there. I hope this works guys, because if it does, it's going to look great. If it goes tits up, then it's going to look ridiculous. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Then you want to twist and shout. Let me show you what I mean. Oh, so what you want to do is get your mash in the bowl, which I'm not going to show you. Put some of the cottage shepherd's pie in there. Pull the cling film together, wrap it in a bowl, and dunk it in some flour. Once it's dunked in the flour, whack it in your oil. And this should be your shepherd's pie bowl, guys. This is the only one I've actually got to work so far. And you want that in the oven with some cheese on top. I'll show you in a minute if we can get this other one finished by then. Go guys, wrap it up in the cling film like a bowl. Woo, which is now coming open. It's not good. It's retighten that. 
keep it like that, I don't know for how long, I'll do it for about 30 seconds, maybe 2 minutes. Then take it out of there and dip it in your flour. I've got it moving on to cook for you, I've got... No wonder I'm hates it when I start cooking. I'll do myself mad. Okay guys, here we go. So not so much shepherd's pie balls as shepherd's pie splodges. The only reason you cut these open guys is shepherd's pies in the middle, it's all nice and lovely. I don't know if it will be. It's a bit of a disaster. Let's go and eat, eh? 